Shalom. I would like to first start off by giving all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Salutations to the hopeful elect pushing this word in truth and sincerity. All right. My name is Yasharala, Great Millstone, Chicago. This is scripture of the day. This is uh, <clears throat> the book of Revelation, chapter 2. Um, verse 26. And he that overcometh and keepeth my works unto the end, to him will I give power over the nations. Right. So Yahweh Shai right here is saying, he that overcometh, how do you overcome? You know, and you keep the law, statutes, and commandments to the best of your ability. Um, basically, do what Yahweh Shai said. You know, he said, feed my sheep. You go out, teach, push this word, wake up the whole full of luck so we can get out of this captivity. You know okay and you you um you overcome you um hey all the things that are gonna come to, to pass Jacob's trouble etc you know that's gonna be a hard task to overcome Lord willing you know the men of Great Millstone are part of the elect, and we endure, and we we uh, get through that time. All right. And keepeth my works unto the end. To him will I give power over the nations. All right. We're gonna be uh, we're gonna be kings. He's gonna put us back in the ruling class. Um, he's gonna put us back on top. You know, we're going to be the ruling class. We're going to have slaves. We're going to have power over the nations. All right. You so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, you are not equal to the average uh, regular heathen. We're not equal to these heathens. We're above them. You know, like it says in Deuteronomy 7, you know, Yahweh has chosen us to be a special people to himself above all the nations, you know? So we're going to be we're going to be kings on the earth. We're going to be royalty again, you know? He's going to give us power over the nations. That's rulership for the Israelites and for the heathens, that's slavery. Being subject, being under subjection to another, um, uh, another uh, nation of people, all right? And Yahweh Shai is going to give that to us, Lord willing, you know? This is Revelations 2 and 26. And he that overcometh and keepeth my works unto the end, now falling out. You know, not being on no bullshit. Oh, I'm gonna come back next week, or you know, nah. There's no breaks in this. To him will I give power over the nations, and that's a reward. You know, that's something we look forward to. We ain't out here doing this just because. You know, we're out here to wake up the elect. First and foremost, and get our de and get deliverance, get salvation, so you know we could be in the kingdom that more, that much more faster. You know, uh, of course we're on Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai's time, but you know that way we could be set up on earth as uh, the ruling class, because. I'm sure a lot of brothers feel the same way I feel. I'm tired of waking up to have to go serve Esau. 
like I'm just I'm just ready to just to not do this shit anymore. <laughs> so, but this these scriptures, scripture like this, is what keeps you going, thinking about that prize at the end, thinking about that reward. Revelations two and twenty six, and he that overcometh and keepeth my works unto the end, to him will I give power over the nations. Whoever was meant to be edified, hope you were. Till next time, I want to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Salutations to the hopeful elect, pushing this forward in truth and sincerity. And to the sisters out there that are watching and learning. Till next time, Shalom.